and we're off. On to school for the nine nine. Where are you driving? Aren't you off roading? <laughs> Jesus. Nine nine. <laughs> is mommy a good driver? Do you feel safe? Yes. Hi. Oh. Ace, are you eating? <laughs> Mommy's parts are never straight. What up, what up? Welcome back to A Little Kiss to Tell. Y'all will not believe who we have in the building today. Ooh. We have the OG, Sheree Whitfield, and her ace, Boone Fatoum. Welcome, y'all, to the show. And I hope that y'all are ready and know what y'all signed up for. OK, and also keep in mind, this is my mother, y'all. So today's sex position is the landslide. And if y'all could see mom's face in the building right now. <laughs> my daughter, Tiara, has a podcast called A Little Kiss and Tell. It's about sex and relationships. What's the landslide? <laughs> so the landslide, the woman is basically on her belly. She's on her forearms, and the guy is behind her, leaning back on his hands with his knees bent. Wait, what? <laughs> I am scared to know what Tiara knows. <laughs> I thought I have tried all the positions, but that's a new one. Breaking news, mom, like what the hell? Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of this already, but. Uh... Sheree Whitfield and boyfriend Tyrone not on speaking terms following the scene that almost landed him back in prison. Who wrote this? Tyrone, it, that, it sounds like Tyrone wrote this. Are you kidding me? It, so, so first of all, that's all a big old lie. He knew he was being filmed. He wanted to be on TV because he wanted to tell his story. This pisses me off. Oh my God. So have y'all talked? We have not talked. He's been talking to him. I don't know. He broke and he needs money. I guess. Mm -hmm. oh. I heard they pay for them stories okay. now. The uh, wow. pictures get leaked. He yeah. leaked those. That's the ultimate betrayal, and I am all about loyalty. It's a wrap. I feel like Tyrone scammed me just like he scammed the other people. Like what? The nerve. Okay. Was this ever? really real for him. I try to dismiss the warning signs, and like many others, I have fallen victim to being in love and being stupid. I've tried to introduce her to so many great guys. Just get away from that right. crook, but yeah. no. Keyword crook. You're beautiful, you're powerful, you're a great mother. Yes. Like, no. we got you. Yeah. Am I safe to come up here? Is this the safe zone? Okay, when I open my eyes, what am I gonna complain about? Ooh. Everything. Are these dirty clothes I asked to come down last night? Oh, what? No, and you technically asked. Well, you did ask to come down this morning, but I was late for the bus. Mr. Billy, what's uh, going on, Mr. Billy? He's been abused. By Michael. Mr. Billy. Oh, wow, have like you cut his neck now? I didn't do oh, anything. Okay, okay then what happened to his neck? I don't touch that bear. I swear, ever since the call with their mom, Michael and William have been acting totally different, so bad. Like, not listening, not cleaning up, doing what they want to do. It's like, what am I going to do? Your auntie is so worried about you at school. Do you guys feel that you need therapy right now? No. William, you don't think that you, you're going through a lot in your mind? Like, as in, are you missing your mom? You just got three referrals in the last 30 days. I don't do anything in school, really. Oh, you should do. You talked back to the teacher and told her she didn't get paid enough. No, Ooh. I said she didn't get paid by arguing with me. I know, but that's disrespectful. There's not a book on how to raise these boys. Only thing I do know is what I wanted as a foster child growing up. So the only thing I can do is just let Michael and William know, hey, you're loved. And sometime they're gonna be handed lemons and they're just gonna have to make some sweet ass lemonade. I just feel like I'm failing y'all. I don't want the school to call me. I shouldn't have to get upset. That's how I was raised. I don't want to have to raise you all like that. I don't want no teacher talking about you. You're skipping class. I'm trying. I don't know what my parenting is doing. My mission is to shape them into stronger, smarter, independent young black men. And it's tough. Sometimes I feel like, am I doing the right thing? Am I making the right decisions? Pray for me and with me. Just do what you have to do. Can I please get that promise? Yes. What about you, Michael? We'll do what I'm supposed to do at school. And that's all I ask. High five. That's what I'm talking about. It is 
gorgeous. I prepared a little charcuterie board. Thank you. White, red. Are you not a big drinker though, are you, Kenya? No, that's why the wine fridge is full. <laughs> okay, here you go. Yeah, sit where you want. I'll sit over here. How's the family? Yeah. So how many are there now? And so her, your sister's kids. My sister and her nephews. two sons. Uh huh. And my mom and dad. Mm -hmm. What did Ross have to say about all of this? I mean, sometimes having sex with them, I'm like, my mom and dad are downstairs. Like, ain't this? Right. <laughs> I'm like I'm 17. Are y'all loud? Like, you know, is the are the rooms closed? Like. <laughs> No. Do the kids run in? Like, <laughs> I mean, we be sneaking in closets. We be going to the car. We be having to do all kinds. It's like we back in college.